the ceiling. Arnold, it's time for me to leave here. Hello everyone, welcome back to another interaction design tutorial. Today we're going to be animating a drag to reorder interaction. We're going to start inside of sketch and then animate inside of principle. But before we get started, I want to give a big thanks to everyone who's been supporting the channel so far, liking videos, subscribing, commenting with suggestions, also engaging on my Instagram and Twitter. Also, I want to give a big shout out to the Uber design team who retweeted one of my videos where I recreated an interaction from the Uber Eats app. Thought that was really awesome. So thanks guys. So we're back in sketch and we're looking at a screen from a sample file storage app. Think like Dropbox or Google Drive, some place where you can store files online. So as you can see, we have some folders here. So we have photos, videos, school, work, career, and miscellaneous. And our goal here is we wanna be able to drag and rearrange or reorder these items uh, via a drag interaction. So we're starting in sketch and we're going to send this to principle to animate. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to drag this miscellaneous item upwards and reorder it somehow. So I wanna make sure that this miscellaneous folder is on top of the layer list actually. So I'm gonna put it right below the nav bar here, um, just so that when we drag it, it goes on top of these other elements. But we're gonna do that part in principle. So let's select this artboard and we'll head into principle and let's import this. And here we see our design inside of principle. So let's expand the layer list here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is select this artboard and let's duplicate it by hitting Command D, like so. Now I'm going to select both of these miscellaneous items and I'm gonna select drag for both horizontal and vertical. Now I tend to always use principle when I'm doing some sort of drag interaction or drag and drop interaction. It seems to be the tool that is best suited for these types of interactions, at least in my experience. I mean, there are ways to do drags inside of Flinto or Envision Studio, but I feel like Principle really nails the drag and drag and drop interactions. So that's why I'm using Principle. So if we go to our preview now, you'll see that we can freeform drag this miscellaneous folder anywhere we want. Um, but it doesn't really look like it's popping off the page and it doesn't really look like we're picking this up. So what we can do in this Artboard 2 is we can scale it up a tiny bit. So make it a bit larger just to make it seem like it's a bit closer to us. So I'm gonna scale it up by like one point, something really slight, like 1.03. So it's just a little bit bigger. And what we can also do is give it a little shadow. And let's just give this a little Y position, maybe four, blur it a little bit more, and then make it a bit of a softer shadow by just changing the color to like a lighter gray. So as you can see already, it looks like it's a bit closer to us. And I'm gonna do one more thing to make it look like it's being picked up. I'm just gonna give it a slight angle. So like negative 0.3 should work. So now in our preview, we're gonna tap on this. Oh, whoops, I have to make an interaction first. So in this first screen with this miscellaneous folder selected, let's click on the lightning bolt and we're gonna select drag begins and connect it to artboard two. So when we start dragging this miscellaneous item, you see how it pops off the page a little bit because of that shadow and because it's scaled up a little bit. So right when we start to drag, it pops off the page. The next thing I'm gonna do is make some guides that will help us when we go to animate. So what I'm gonna do is hit R on my keyboard. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to make a rectangle that's the exact same size as this miscellaneous folder, like so. I'm gonna put it right over the top of it. We can zoom in real close just to make sure it's the same size. Very cool, and I'll call this guide one. Then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna duplicate that one and put it right on top of the career folder. Make sure it's flush with the corner here. I know this looks a bit weird right now, but this is gonna help when we start dragging uh, these folders. Some of these other folders are gonna get kind of displaced, and this guide is gonna make sure that the folders fall back where they're supposed to. Um, the more you use principle, the more creative you can get with using uh, guides that kind of look a little ridiculous at first, but they'll definitely help you down the road. So I'm going to create one more to cover up work. There we go. And these are named incorrectly. Sorry. This is just guide two 
and guide three. And now I'm going to drag these all to the bottom of the layer list here. And let's paste them on the second artboard as well. These will go below everything. Like so. And I'm also just going to change the name of this artboard to artboard two. There we go. So it looks kind of weird right now, but these rectangles are just underneath all of these uh, folder items here. So let's just revisit what we're trying to do. So we're going to select this miscellaneous folder and start dragging it upwards. And as we reach a certain point, like we get to a certain point on this career folder, the career folder is going to move where the miscellaneous folder was. So it kind of displaces it and it's going to fall right into that guide area. And as we continue to drag upwards, we're going to get this kind of cascading effect downwards. So to create this micro interaction, we're going to use drivers. So as always, when using drivers, we select layers to drive. So in this case, we want to drive this career folder by the drag Y position of this miscellaneous folder. So with this career folder selected, let's select drivers. And as you see, the driver window opens up. Now we want to select which property of this career folder that we want to drive by the Y position of this miscellaneous folder. So in this case, let's select the center Y of this career position, or sorry, of this career folder. So we're going to drive the Y position of that career folder by the Y position of this miscellaneous folder. So in this driver window now, you'll see we can drag. So just take note, we start at 470. We want to reach a point maybe about here at which the career folder will start moving downwards into this guide box we made. So it's going to replace this miscellaneous folder. So let's add a keyframe. So that'll be the start of its downward movement. And then let's add another keyframe when the miscellaneous folder gets about here. So let's add another one. So once we reach here with this career folder selected, we can just move it downwards into that guide box we made. So watch what happens when I scrub through this driver window now. So we start at this 470, we start dragging this miscellaneous folder upwards, we reach a certain point and the career folder starts heading downwards. So they're switching spots. So you see this reordering effect take place. And we can also preview this live now. So we start dragging this miscellaneous folder upwards, we reach a certain point and the career folder replaces it. And notice that it works in both directions. This is why I love using principles so much for these drag interactions. It's super intuitive and easy to do. Cool, so now let's just replicate this process until miscellaneous is above school and school and work begin to cascade downwards. And I'm probably gonna release miscellaneous when it's underneath school, just to show that we can go on top of it and below it. But in any case, we'll be back when this is done. I'm probably just gonna speed up the video now for our time's sake, but feel free to follow along with some good tunes. So I went ahead and replicated this process. So I'll quickly scrub through the driver window here and you'll see this kind of cascading effect as this miscellaneous item moves up the screen. Each subsequent folder kind of cascades downwards and replaces the one prior. And if you look in the driver window here, you'll see that each of these uh, sets of keyframes represents a different layer that we're driving. So like I showed you before, the first layer we were driving was that career folder. So that's what these keyframes represent. So this 440 to 400 distance, that's what that represents. Then once we reach 370, we're now driving the center Y position of the work folder. So from 370 to 330, another 40 pixels. Um, the work folder is represented by these keyframes here. And then this pair is the school folder. So that starts at 300 and ends at 260. 
So we're driving each individual layer by the Y position of the miscellaneous folder. So it looks pretty cool. And we can just start at the beginning now and we can actually preview this live as well, just to get a feel for it. And it feels really, uh, really fun, honestly. And it makes a lot of sense intuitively, like we're dragging to rearrange the order of these. Now I just want to be able to drop the miscellaneous back in place. So I'm actually going to drop it right in between school and work. So this will be the point we drop. But in order to do that, we actually need to design another screen. So let's duplicate the screen two here. So select it and press Command D to duplicate. And in this final screen, which we'll call screen three, we can get rid of the shadow for this miscellaneous item. So deselect shadow, take the angle back to zero, take the scale back to one, so it's in its original state. And we said we want miscellaneous um, in between school and work. But before we do that, actually, let's just get rid of all of its keyframes here. And there's probably a faster way to do this. If you guys know how to do this, please let me know because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Can probably just Google it, but haven't done that yet. So let's just get rid of all the keyframes. So we want miscellaneous to end up in between school and work. That looks about right. Cool, so now we just need a way to get from screen two to three. So with screen two selected, we will create another interaction. Or sorry, with miscellaneous selected, we'll create another interaction and we'll just do drag ends. And let's just test this out. Awesome, now we can drag it right into place. So as soon as we release, it just kind of falls into place. And it looks really natural and feels very natural as well. Makes a lot of sense intuitively. We're dragging and dropping as we rearrange the order of these items here. And now we can just get rid of these ugly guides. So let's select these in both screens, get rid of them, reset this. And there we have it, folks. That's all she wrote. So pretty advanced drag interaction, but once you get the hang of this, you guys are gonna be masters of principle. This is about as hard as it gets inside of principle. Um, yeah, if you guys can learn this, you guys are going to do great. Um, if you guys found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment with what you want to see next. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, I'm also going to leave my Instagram and Twitter below. If you guys want to follow me on there, that'd be awesome. And stay tuned for more videos, guys. I try to put out at least one per week. So stay tuned for more. Can't wait for the next one.